how does guest casting work? So occasionally you'll write a script that has a real juicy part for a guest actor. Maybe it's one of the characters' mothers, or, or maybe it's a love interest that's going to recur for three episodes. Often the network will want to cast like a high-profile actor, like a star for that part, to raise the profile of the show. That's very common. And so here's how that works. The showrunner will give the casting director an early draft of the script, just so they get an idea of what the part is. And then they'll take a couple of days, they'll read it over. Then the, the casting director will put together a list of, let's say, 30 names uh, of famous actors. And you'll look at them, and maybe five or ten of them are, aren't right for the part, you know, whatever, you just cross them off. And then some of them are like, well, yeah, well... This person is a movie star. There's no way they're going to do the show. But you kind of have to look into it anyway to appease the network, which is, okay, that's fine. And then, uh, and then some of them be like, okay, yeah, let's, let's find out more about these, whatever, 15 actors. The casting director will reach out to their representatives or agents or managers. A couple of days later, they'll come back with a list of avails. And so one actor might be unavailable until March because they're in New York doing a Broadway play. Now you can decide, do you want to wait for this person? Are they worth waiting for? Usually you don't have that kind of luxury, so you kind of move down the list. And then another actor, it might say, uh, not interested in doing TV. And you're like, well, of course not. They're clutching their Oscar too hard to do TV. So why are we even wasting our time with them? And then another actor might say, offer only. All right, and so there's the danger of, which means they don't have to read. They don't have to audition. You just say, you give them the script, do you want a part or not? The problem with that is often you want to tailor the part to that actor to entice them. And that takes, you're going down a rabbit hole now. That can take a couple of days. And then you give them the script and then it takes them days or weeks to even read the script. And sometimes they don't even read the script. They don't get back to you because they're just too busy. So then you got to move down the list. And sometimes uh, you'll see some, uh, an actor says, like, you know, willing to read. And that always surprises me as a, as a producer, as a writer producer. I'm like, which actors are willing to read and which ones are offer only? Because sometimes you'll have a super famous actor and talented one willing to come in an audition. And sometimes you see an actor who's not that famous or talented that says offer only. Now, I get why. Like auditioning is hard. It's a lot of work. You don't want to get rejected. Uh, maybe they don't need the money, maybe they're not hungry. And then sometimes you see actors who are like, yeah, they, these are really talented actors and they're willing to read, and I'm always impressed by that. At the same time, you're also having open casting calls for less famous actors and you know, talented people. Sometimes you give them the part, sometimes you give the part to someone more famous. Sometimes you put an offer out to an actor and they'll say they'll do it, but they want twice as much money as you have for the budget. And then you go back to the network and you say, hey, we got this famous actor, they want to do the part, but they want to get paid extra. Uh, are you willing to kick in the other half? And sometimes the network says, yeah, because they're, they're that important to the show. So that's how guest acting, uh, guest characters get, get uh, cast sometimes. To find out how writers get work, follow me, I'll talk about that tomorrow. And on Instagram, at Michael Jammin Writer.